Professional soccer returned this weekend, just not here at BMO Field in Toronto, but in Germany to fanless stadiums. It will be a while until we see professional soccer return to North America as MLS has extended its moratorium on group practices. Kamal Miller, he's from Toronto, but plays for the Orlando City Soccer Club and just participated in his first individual workout since the pandemic broke out. It was different at first. Um, we all really did not know what to expect. Uh, but overall, it's been it's been amazing uh, getting together every day in the in the same space, even though we're not close to each other at all. Just the fact that we're able to hear each other's voices and, and see each other work, it, it motivates us to, to train harder than than most would do at home and, and gives a little extra motivation. In his rookie season last year, he had 14 starts in 16 games. Miller was in self-quarantine the last few months in Orlando with his teammate Benji, and the time gave him a moment to reflect on some of the highlights of his professional soccer career. My my debut game against um, New York City FC, one of the strongest teams in the East. I, I feel like I did very well that game, and, and that was kind of the, the start of everything. Um, from there, got called into a couple national team camps to represent Canada, and Ever since there, it's, it's just been going up. Well, he was able to spend some forced quality time with his quarantine buddy. Miller hasn't seen his family in person since December in Toronto and says they can't wait until the travel restrictions are lifted and the virus slows down so they can come visit the soccer star. Both sides of my family are, are in Toronto. My, my mom and my grandma, everyone wants to be on the first flight to Orlando. Welcome to Cooking with Kim Mills. During self-isolation, the 23-year-old became a viral sensation from his cooking videos the team posted. It had him making anything from smoothies to pancakes. Almost everyone who I talk to, um, my friends back home, uh, their, their parents, pretty much everyone has said, uh, I've seen your video. Has your teammates, have they been putting any requests for you to cook them some meals? <laughs> no, most of them were, were pretty shocked. Um, as one of the one, as one of the younger guys, they expect me to make a run at Chipotle for dinner or something like that. So, so when they saw that I was cooking and actually knew what I was doing, uh, they, they were pretty surprised. From soccer to hockey, the NHL had a Board of Governors conference call today. And over the weekend, there was a lot of buzz over the Hub City idea. And then it went from four cities to two, with 12 teams participating in each city for the playoffs. But it's all still up for discussion. Nothing has been set in stone. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.